This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. eTownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at eTownApartments.com. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and a friendly staff available for all your recycling needs. E-Town Exterminating is a locally owned, family-run pest control company and has been serving the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. and gentlemen and welcome to the campus of Elizabethtown High School tonight for 17th District Volleyball Action as the North Harden High School Classical Lady Falcons are taking on the John Harden Lady Bulldogs.
is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One programming sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. eTownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at eTownApartments.com. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and a friendly staff available for all your recycling needs. E-Town Exterminating is a locally-owned, family-run pest control company and has been serving the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple.
This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television student production. HCCTV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. eTownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at eTownApartments.com. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and a friendly staff available for all your recycling needs. E-Town Exterminating is a locally owned, family-run pest control company and has been serving the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple.
This is a Hardin County Education and Community Television student production. HCC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel 1 programming is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all your telecommunication needs. Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results. eTownApartments.com by Mark Harris Construction. Take a virtual tour today at eTownApartments.com. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and a friendly staff available for all your recycling needs. E-Town Exterminating is a locally owned, family-run pest control company and has been serving the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. And West Point Bank with five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Let us help make life simpler. Hometown banking made simple. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the campus of Elizabethtown High School tonight for 17th District Volleyball Action as the North Harden High School Classical Lady Falcons are taking on the John Harden Lady Bulldogs. Uh, we are into the second match of the evening. The Lady Falcons took the first match. It is 16-14 here in the second match. And the Lady Bulldogs await to serve. Here it comes. Hits the net, goes down for a point. That'll give John Harden a point. Puts them up 17-14 here in this match. Serve for the Lady Bulldogs. Dug out pretty good. Here comes a set. Goes to the back line of the Bulldogs. Here comes another set. Kill shot down the... Left hand boundary and number 17, Ava Holly couldn't handle that hit. And it is 18 14, Lady Bulldogs. Good volley so far. Here comes a set for. John Harden and the referee is going to call a foul. And that puts the Lady Bulldogs up 19-14. Not sure what the referee called there. They're going to call the violation. That's going to give the Lady Bulldogs another point. Puts them up 20-14 here in the second match. Abigail Moore served it. Here comes the spike, so to speak, cross court. Inbounds. 21-14, seven-point lead for the Lady Bulldogs. Serving for the Lady Bulldogs, number eight, 
Abigail Moore. Playable ball, here comes a kill shot. Taken out of there nicely. And looped over. Referee's gonna call a foul on number 11 for the Bulldogs. Shelby Cox. And that'll return the serve back to the Lady Falcons, 21-15. Serve comes in, played well by John Harden. Kill shot there and goes off a Lady Falcon and out of bounds for a 22-15 lead for John Harden. Now serving for the Lady Bulldogs. Number one. Nice sit, nice shot and point, John Harden, 23-15. This is the first of two games this evening as we move ahead in the District 17th Volleyball Tournament. Coming up later this evening, you'll have North Harden High School taking on the Eagles of Fort Knox. Fort Knox just arriving in the gym with their team. Comes across court shot and returned well by the Lady Bulldogs. So well, in fact, it goes off number one, Alyssa McCorkle, and up into the stands. So it's now 24-15, Lady Bulldogs on top, and they have the serve. And that serve a, a little weak. She's going to laugh about it and get a get a couple of pats on the back from her friends there. She knows it was a, a lost attempt. Lady Eagles on the attack now. Number four, Jordan Fortner, going to put this ball in play. North Harden classical. Lady Bulldogs do a good job of handling it. Here comes the set. And we've got a good volley going. And touch shot attempted there, didn't work. Lady Falcons were ready for it and keep it in play. Here comes another kill shot. This one does not go over as well as the last one did and uh, we're back to volley. That one's in, the Lady Bulldogs win game two. We'll take a short break and before we take the break, let me give you uh, some of our sponsors for tonight's game, Physical Therapy Associates, more personal attention for more effective results with locations in Elizabethtown, Hodgenville, Radcliffe, and South Louisville. You can find them online at physicaltherapyky.com. Also helping us out tonight by sponsoring tonight's broadcast, Winding Springs Luxury Living, located in Elizabethtown on Nicholas Street, now leasing brand new apartments and condos available in uh, Black Branch Self Storage for all your storage needs. Call 270-766-1155 today to make an appointment or visit windingspringstownetown.com and blackbranchstorage.com. Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling has been a family-owned business with competitive prices, pickup service, and friendly staff available for your recycling needs. Located in Elizabethtown on 31W, just south of exit 91 on Interstate 65. Call 270-982-7206 to talk to someone about scrapping your metal and your recycling needs. E-Town Exterminating. E-Town Exterminating is a locally owned, family-run pest control company. has been serving Harden, Mead, Grayson, and Nelson counties in the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Whatever your pest control issues are, termites, spiders, crickets, general pests, even moles, their team has the knowledge, skill, and training to safely and effectively eliminate the problem. Call 270-737-6900 or go online at mugabug.com. West Point Bank has five offices located in Elizabethtown, Radcliffe, Upton, Glendale, and West Point. Or you can find them online at westpointbank.com. Let them help make your life simpler. West Point Bank, hometown banking made simple. You can tune in weekly for all local HCEC TV programs. They air on Brandenburg Telecom and Comcast Cable's channel 2, Spectrum 
channel 184. All HCEC TV programs on the HCEC TV YouTube, YouTube channel. Also, you can subscribe to the channel today to get your local community sports and events. This is a Hardin County Educational and Community Television Student Production. HCEC TV is a division of Hardin County Schools. Live Channel One program is sponsored in part by Brandenburg Telecom, providing service for all of your telecommunication needs. Well, two matches down, and uh, we are doing well. Uh, both teams have won, a, won one match so far. Uh, that's what tournament sports are all about in high school in Kentucky. Uh, doesn't matter what the regular season uh, was, uh, what your record was at the end of the regular season. It's what you do in the tournament that counts according to most coaches you talk to. And uh, both coaches have given some instructions to their teams. Referees are giving some final instructions to the teams before we start this match. Lady Falcons won the first one. Lady Bulldogs from John Harden won the second one. And now we will be playing the third game of this match in the first round. Winner will move on. Loser, unfortunately, their season will be over. And we're going to get back to action here shortly. Referees have yet. Well, correction there, we had a little bit. I'll tell you, ladies and gentlemen, I was a little late getting here tonight. There was some miscommunication, and John Harden has won both games. We're playing a best three of five. Uh, so take back about everything I said until now. We're starting the third match, and John Harden's server will come away with a great serve, and John Harden will go up one nothing to start this game. Serving for John as we pull up the roster was number eight, Abigail Moore. And off of that uh, attempt to set and return that volley, they're going to get another point. Coach for the Lady Bulldogs, Walter Hampton, seems to be pleased with the team's progress so far. Tough shot there by number 10 for the Lady Bulldogs as uh, couldn't be returned. Aaliyah Hunt on that shot, and I mean she shot it hard and fast, and the Lady Falcons just could not return that serve or return that shot. Here comes the serve into the net. 3-1, Lady Bulldogs. Now the Falcons are going to get the serve. Serving for the Falcons, Ava Holly. Holly approaches, serves, and it's going to be touched over the net. Here comes the serve and set, and uh, blocked out of there that time by number 25 for the Lady Bulldogs. That's Ar Aurelia Wilson. Maybe Ariala Wilson. If I'm mispronouncing that, you'll have to forgive me on that one. Here comes the set and error on that play. Just couldn't get it back over the net. Number 25 for North Harden Classical, Caitlin Wilcox. Again, the serves a tough one from the Lady Bulldogs and the Lady Falcons do regroup after getting it uh, Back in play, but the referee's going to call a two hits on one player on that one, and that'll give it back to the Lady Bulldog. Or I'm sorry, Lady Bulldogs get a double hit on that one, and it'll go back to Miss Wilcox as she begins her serve here in this third game. Here comes the serve, hits the middle of the net and down. Bulldogs go up 6-2 in this match. Lady Bulldogs on the attack as they have the serve. Comes into play, handled well by the Lady Falcons. And 
And here comes the set for the Lady Bulldogs. Barely touched it over, and it is going to go to the Lady Bulldogs out of bounds. Nice attempt to uh, return that, but it hits the antenna and goes out of bounds. Seven three Lady Bulldogs here in the third game. Comes the serve, handled well. Here comes the set, shot into the net, and that'll pull the Lady Eagles closer to a 7-4. Good try by the Lady Bulldogs there. Just Trying to go out of bounds and get the ball. Couldn't get it. Number 14, Lily Ford serving for the Lady Eagles. I'm sorry, Lady Falcons. We'll get it right here in a minute. Lady Falcons have pulled back within a point seven six here in this match. Here comes the serve right to the middle of the back line. Handled well. Here comes a an attempt to do a touch shot there, and it just couldn't just couldn't get it over the net that time. Number 24 Lydia Santos had just a little bit of a little bit of a hard time getting that ball taken back. We're going to take a timeout. This will be a great time for you to, if you have pest problems, to call E-Town Exterminating. E-Town Exterminating. It's a locally owned, family-run pest control company serving Hardin, Meade, Grayson, and Nelson counties in the surrounding areas of Kentucky since 1976. Whatever your pest control issues, termites, spiders, crickets, general pest, even moles, the team there has the knowledge, skill, and training to safely eliminate the problem. Call 270-737-6900, or you can go online at mugabug.com. I want to remind you, tonight's game is being played here on the campus of Elizabethtown High School. I guess you could call it the Panther Den. That's what they call it. Final instructions by the coaching staff of John Harden. Here come the Lady Falcons. And there's the serve. Put in play. Here comes 24 with it again across court. Gets a good shot. It's well handled. Here comes the third shot for the Lady Falcons and over. Good recovery by the Lady Falcons and a wow. Great shot there by the Lady Bulldogs, number eight, I believe, number nine, I believe it was. That's Haley Russell. Lady Bulldogs back on the serve. Number 18 for the Lady Bulldogs had a good attempt there. She was trying to put it down the left sideline. Brianna Davis takes it just a little wide and the serve will return back to the Lady Falcons. Number six for the Lady Falcons, Sofia Romero Padilla, and she puts it in the net. Lady Bulldogs will come back on the attack on the serve. Number 18 for the Lady Bulldogs, Brianna Davis serving this time. A hot serve as it comes across the net, but it returned by the Lady Falcons. Lady Bulldogs are gonna set up their offense. And uh, that hit is hit into the net by Jordan Fortner. Check that, not, not Fortner, but number four for the Lady Bulldogs, Isabella Carmen. 
Lady Falcons have taken a 10-9 lead on the Lady Bulldogs. And the referee's gonna call a double hit here. On North Harden Classical, number 23, Haley Cron. Score now tied up at 10 to 10. Wilcox hits a long one down to the back end of the defense for the Lady Bulldogs, but they handle it, get it back over the net, and here comes a shot. Just in, oh, he's gonna call it out. Called the ball, said it went out. Puts the Lady Bulldogs up 11 to 10. He's got the better view than I do, though. And that attempt by number 10, Aaliyah Hunt goes off and out of the back of the court, brings both teams into an 11-11 tie, and now serving for the Lady Falcons, Haley Cron. Here comes the serve. Nice dig. Number nine for the Lady Bulldogs, Haley Russell getting some soft work in there. She just barely taps it over the net. That time she takes a good swipe at it. Nobody at home in the middle of the floor. And the Lady Bulldogs will take a 12-11 lead in this third game of this match. Hard to handle on the serve that time. Tough ball coming off there that time from the uh, Lady Bulldogs, number 11 on that play. Shelby Cox couldn't handle it on the Lady Falcons side and Johns pulled ahead by two to a 13 to 11 lead. Little indecision there in the middle of the court as to who was gonna take that ball and here comes John Harden with a touch and will it be over? No, the referee's gonna call two touches. saying that she palmed the ball. Did the defender for the Lady Falcons and that gives the point to the Lady Bulldogs. Lack of communication on that ball led to it hitting the ground. Lady Falcons seem just a little rattled as we get to the 15 to 11 lead. And no one at home on the front line there. That's a 16-11 lead for the Lady Falcons, and that's gonna cause the Lady Falcons now to take a timeout, talk things over. Lady Falcons coached by Kenneth Helton. Uh, so far this year, Lady Falcons are 12 and 10 on the, on the season. This Winding Springs Luxury Living timeout brought to you by Winding Springs Luxury Living located in Elizabethtown on Nicholas Street. Now leasing brand new apartments and condos. Also available is Black Branch Self Storage for all your storage needs. Call 270-766-1155 today to make an appointment or visit windingspringsetown.com and blackbranchstorage.com for all your storage needs. Back to serve for the Lady Bulldogs, Haley Russell. And uh, she's been on fire. Here comes her serve right to the back of the line, middle. Handled well, but it's not in an opportune spot for them to set their offense. Instead, John Harden gets it, tries to go to the back corner. Hard to handle ball. And uh, the Lady Falcons just weren't there to be able to do anything with it once it got in front of them, hit the net and down to the floor it goes. 17-11, here comes the serve. Nice dig, here comes, here comes the ball over, comes to the front line. Nice set and volley. Ooh, great block there by Wilcox. She put that ball right back over the net, but the Lady Falcons caught watching as that ball comes down about, oh, about half the ball over the net and um, I don't know if they were afraid to touch it or what, but 
The Bulldogs weren't, and the Lady Bulldogs get the point. 18-11, John Harden. They pulled ahead by seven. Lady Falcons handle that one nicely. Goes into the net. Had two blockers there to try to protect that, that time. Number 11, Shelby Cox, and number 25, Ariella Wilson. And I uh, think maybe a Lady Falcon saw that coming, hit it into the net. 1911, Lady Bulldogs. And again, it's hard to handle that serve. John takes possession of it, gets it across. Lady Falcons handle it. Try a touch pass down the left side of the their court and uh, just out of bounds. 20-11, a nine-point lead now for the Lady Bulldogs as they begin to pull ahead in this third game after winning the first two. That sets in the net for number eight. And the Lady Bulldogs lose lose the serve. Serve coming in now. Number 17, Ava Holly. They'll score a point off of that. Nope, the referee called that one out. So the Lady Bulldogs get the point. They get the serve. Here it comes. The Lady Bulldogs have pushed the Lady Falcon defense back to the end of the court on their side, and it's been hard for them to get sets and offensive shots as a result of it. Doing a much better job as you look at this play uh, in controlling the ball and trying to volley it back and forth across. Here comes a shot from the Lady Bulldogs. Obviously, going to go out of bounds on that one. The referee says in addition to that, there were two hits on that ball, so Lady Bulldogs lose a point on that one. 21-13 lead. Here comes Wilcox for the serve for the Lady Falcons. Serve, hit it hard, but hit it right in the middle of the net, loses the point. 22-13, a nine-point lead now for the Lady Bulldogs. Some substitutions coming in for the Lady Bulldogs. North Harden classical, able to volley this ball, puts it toward the middle. Hard shot attempt, but two shots, two hits by number nine on that play, and that'll cause the ball to stay with the Lady Falcons on the point. They pull within eight at 22-14. And that attempt by the Bulldogs, goes, Lady Bulldogs goes past the end line. They're making a little bit of a run now, 22-15 on the serve here from number four, Jordan Fortner. Here comes the ball to the middle, hard ball to handle. Lady Bulldogs regroup and get it back over. Here comes the set from the Lady Falcons. Touch ball over and the Lady Bulldogs caught, caught looking on that one. And they will score the point for the Lady Falcons, 22-16. Jordan Fortner. Looking around, gets the call from the official to start play. And she will begin with the motion to the serve, and here it comes. Gets it over, into the middle, hard to handle ball. But it's taken over the net. Here comes the set. And a nice block there by number 18. Brianna Davis. Now she's going to take the offensive shot, gets it off into the back corner for a point for the Lady Bulldogs, 23-16. We advise you to stay tuned after this match as the North Harden Lady Trojans will be taking on the Eagles of Fort Knox High School. That game set to start at 8 o'clock this evening. <clears throat> Shot goes off the head of number 17, Ava Holly, and out of bounds. And the Lady Trojans are, or Lady Bulldogs are a point away from winning the match. Oh, what a play. The ball down. Uh, just basically danced on the net for number 23. 
Haley Cron as she hit it, and two Lady Bulldogs were mesmerized, let the ball fall right in front of them. 24-17 now. Lady Falcons on the attack. Here comes the serve, over, hard, hard serve to handle, and it's going to go out of bounds off of number four, Isabella Carmen. She made a stabbing at attempt to ball at the ball with one arm, and it got over, but it was way out of bounds. Here comes number six on the serve, and she's going to hit that one into the net, and that is the match, ladies and gentlemen. So as we end of this game um, the Lady Bulldogs will move ahead we're going to listen now for the all district selections for North Harden Classical we'll get A win in three straight games to take the match for the Lady Bulldogs. Lady Falcons made a slight run at the end of that third game. We're awaiting the all district selection for North Harden Classical. As soon as that is made, I'll call that for you. So Hampton and the Lady Bulldogs are going to advance in the 17th district tournament. Here comes the all tournament team selection for North Harden Classical. Haley Cron, number 23 for North Harden Classical, will be named to the all tournament team to represent the Lady Falcons. And uh, good luck to the Lady Falcons. They'll have to start their off season now. So we'll take a break from broadcasting here while we await the start of the North Harden and Fort Knox game. I want to remind you that these sponsors helped bring you the first game of this 17th District Lady Volleyball Tournament. Um, Physical Therapy Associates, Winding Springs Luxury Living, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, E-Town Exterminating, and West Point Bank. This is an HCEC TV student production, a division of the Hardin County Schools. Special thanks to our live sports coverage sponsors, Brandenburg Telecom, Physical Therapy Associates, Waddell's Auto and Scrap Metal Recycling, Winding Springs Luxury Living, and Black Branch Self Storage. West Point Bank and E-Town Exterminating. We'll be back for game two in just a few minutes. Until then, have a good evening.